How's everybody doing today? We're back here at the shop and we got this 66 Mustang here in the shop. It's a straight six. We're going to be converting it all over to disc brakes and we're going to put a uh, 302 from most likely a Fox body. But this is what it's got going on right now. Just like it says, it's just a straight six. Engine runs, it drives. Um, the rear brakes are locked up. Uh, we had to drag it over here, but uh, it does pretty good though. It still runs and drives. Uh, transmission slipping, so we're going to have to take the tranny out, but we're putting a new engine anyways. Also, the rack and pinion is leaking, as you can see, all that down there. <laughs> all this down here. Well, not the rack and pinion, but the power ram. So, hopefully it's all drained out by now, <laughs> so it stops leaking. But yeah, it's a nice little car. We'll reuse this uh, radiator here for the, the 302. That's a good aluminum radiator. We'll use that. But um, yeah, we're just gonna convert this over, like I said. We'll put uh, disc brakes in the front. We're gonna go with the five lug in the uh, front and back. Um, the rear will probably just leave four for now, but we will do five later. Uh, just coming you know with money wise because we're doing a v8 swap and we're doing a uh, disc brake conversion but yeah it's a nice little car needs a lot of TLC though as you can see it's got uh, only 41,000 miles on it unless it's turned but these cars didn't usually turn turn over too much because people didn't drive them a lot it's not like today where you know you you can put a hundred some thousand miles on a car within a few years. So, good possibility it's only got 41,000 or 141,000. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'll double check that again. Hold on. Let me double check that. That says 4,000. So, most likely it's turned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I miscounted. So it's got 4,000, so most likely it's got 104,000 miles. Most likely not 204,000, but we'll see. But yeah, it's a nice little car. Needs some TLC. We're gonna do the, we're gonna strip the paint as well later on, repaint it. Customer's deciding what color he wants to go with. But yeah, nice little car, pretty much all original. But yeah, then over here to our left, let me put this hood down. Uh, I got a bad arm. There you go. Uh, there you go. Over here to our left, we got a Firebird. It's just a, it's just the 5.7, it's a 98. It's got a oil leak, and it looks like it's the rear main seal. And also I believe um, we might have to drop the oil pan because in the back, It'll, you can see a bunch of people put silicone on the back around the gasket. So maybe if I take the, when I take it off, I'll find out and see um, when I drop the transmission. But yeah, that's what's going on at the shop. Not much has happened too much lately. Um, got another PT Cruiser way over there. Um, pulling the engine out of that and selling it to a guy with an SRT4 Neon. He blew up his engine. So I'm going to be pulling the engine out of that. Selling it to him for that. Also, we got this truck here. It's got a 351 in it. We're uh, pulling the engine out of this and putting that engine up for sale. It's a uh, 92 or 93 F250 with a 351. But yeah, 5.8. Um, be a good upgrade for a Fox Body Mustang or so on. Uh, if anybody needs one, just hit me up and let me know. Uh, the truck's Still pretty good. The bed, everybody keeps hitting me up about this rack, but no one's came and got it yet. So if you guys want the rack, let me know. Uh, it's a real nice rack. Also, hey, if you want a jet ski, <laughs> it's yours. Cheap, super cheap. But yeah, just let me know if you guys are interested in this. Um, but like I said, nice little rack. I also got a bunch of plaques that came with it. You guys can have those with, with the rack. But yeah, real nice rack. The interior on this thing is really nice as well. Just dirty, because someone you know used it as a trash can. But if you look, door panels are really nice. 
dash is pretty nice. Steering wheel, steering column, everything. This side's a little dirty, but real nice, real good shape. Um, the only reason why I got it is because something fell on top of it, as you can see there. So I busted out the window and they're scrapping the truck because of it. So I already sold the rear end, so no rear end. If you need the drive line, if you need the front end, you need the bed, the, the cab is kind of gone. But if you need the doors, I got the seat, but it's kind of seen somewhere. But yeah, it's a pretty good sized truck. This, what is this, two, four, six, eight lug. So, yeah, if you guys need a door, windows, mirrors, whatever you need, we got it here. All right. Visors are in really good shape. Seat belts are in good shape. Back window. But yeah, if you need anything, just let us know. We'll take care of you. But yeah, I got these two cars right now. Um, also, I got that GMC. I bought that to fix up and give to my girlfriend, uh, soon to be wife. So, oh, let me zoom on it so I don't have to walk all the way out there. Come on, focus. There we go. That one needs some TLC. Bought it from uh, my buddy's tow yard. Um, really good shape. Just needs a lot of TLC. Someone just didn't take care of it. But yeah. So that's pretty much all we got going on here at the shop. Um, if you guys, if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. We'll get some more video content. This here is just here for a buddy. He's uh, working on another car and so... I've got that here for right now. But yeah, like I said, just like and subscribe. And we'll put some more videos out soon. Uh, update on the on the car lift. Yeah, nothing's happened since we bolted in. That's all we've done so far. Because, like I said, it's tweaked from uh, another video. So do not buy from Best Buy Auto Equipment. It's all tweaked right there at the top. And then we had to grind into the concrete just because the pads weren't flat. So we had to grind in the concrete just to get, you can see there, grind it just so I can get this to sit flat. Did the same thing on the other side. Um, I can't remember which one was worse. Uh, I think it was this side was the worst one. It was just when they were welding up the plates. If you see where they weld up these plates right here, it just warped the plate. So it warped it all the way around. So it was teeter-tottering when we went to stand it up way before we installed it. We just now installed it. We still haven't even installed the rest of the stuff. <laughs> the rest of the stuff is just sitting there still. Anyways, um, but yeah, like I keep saying, like and subscribe. We'll get some more videos out. Uh, if you guys want to see anything special, if you want to see the Mustang in action, um, I am just bought a new fuel system. We'll be putting that fuel system in. I went uh, Dash 8 feed and a Dash 6 return. Um, the pickups are Dash dash 8 out and, yeah, Dash 8 out and Dash 6 return. Uh, it's got a, now I got a 5, I'm sorry, a 450 Walbro. E85 and we're gonna be putting E85 in this little girl here. Let me back up just so you can see this better There we go But yeah, we'll be putting uh, E85 to her and I'll turn up the boost and we should be going for With the 450 It's about 700 horsepower max on that 450. So we really need to put two pumps on it So uh, we'll get that soon. But yeah, like I keep telling you like and subscribe I keep telling you, please like and subscribe, share these videos. It helps me get more followers and, you know, tells me, hey, I need to start making more videos. But yeah, we'll get some tuning videos on this when we convert it over to E85 after I put the fuel system in. We'll do the video on the fuel system. Uh, we'll also do a video on this one here of us dropping the transmission and seeing what's going on. Like I said, most possible. Most likely it's a rear main seal and maybe the oil pan's leaking in the back. 
we'll find out when we drop the tranny. And then the 66, that one there, we'll start tearing into this one as well. Turn, we'll start tearing the front end off. And we're going to go with a Ford Granada front end. So if anybody knows the Ford Granada swaps, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, it goes up to, was it 75 through 80 Ford Granada? Uh, you just got to find the spindles, but you go to, you know, AutoZone, go buy some uh, spindle, I'm sorry, the rotors, the calipers, throw it on. It's the cheap, cheap upgrade for a, you know, disc brake conversion. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. You have a good day.